Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The 23rd of October will mark a day that will be very special for me. It will be the first time since a couple of years that I play in London, and it is a concert dedicated to two charitable organizations, which I am very honored to support. One of them is my own, the musical society of this church, Lately Saint Therese in Yerson, which I founded in order to support my project of reawakening this wonderful space to become a center for music, culture, and art. The second, called Yerevan My Love, has as its object to build a school for disadvantaged and highly talented children in Armenia. The theme of the program that I shall present in this concert is music and poetry. I have sought out works which are not only the result of an association between words and music, as in the case of a composer who takes a poem and writes music to it, but of works that I feel represent music as poetry. That is to say, when the aesthetics of poetry and the things that poetry can evoke, the emotions that they can bring forth, are put into music in such a way that the music embodies itself, these qualities. This shall be a chronological exploration, starting with the music of the Ars Nova of the 14th century, a movement which has its origins and its development not far from here in the north of France. So we are here in one of the back rooms of the Église Saint-Thérèse. This here is a mosaic that I had made of the original notation of one of the most important works of the Ars Nova of 14th century French composition. This is the beginning of the Mass of Guillaume de Machaut. This ancient music has fascinated me for a very long time, and it is one of my projects here at the church, among other places to revitalize it in making this into a music that belongs to the realm of that which is played, which is listened to, and which is interpreted. piece, The Toute Fleur, of Guillaume de Machaut, 
is one of the ballads. A ballad is one of the forms that will accompany us throughout this exploration of music and poetry, for it is a name which was applied not only to the standard form of the Ars Nova, but it was a form which was reprised by romantic composers such as Chopin and Liszt to create pieces of music that told stories. This kind of recounting through music was one of the elements that led to the development of the symphonic poem. We encounter a very different kind of relationship between text and music with Johann Sebastian Bach and with his chorale preludes, which are particularly characterful, virtuosic, and let's say unexpected, given what one normally associates with this art of playing an organ prelude upon a Lutheran melody. Indeed, these are, in the original sense of the word, character pieces. I would like to play you one of these chorale preludes, which is quite unusual. Indeed, it does not show any of this rich symbolism and tapestry that are normally hallmarks of Bach's extraordinarily refined style in interpreting texts to become music. Here, it is simply the melody itself, which through the eyes of Bach has come to realize a real touching singing quality.
program we shall go through many centuries of music that had to do with poetry through works such as William Byrd's Variations on Walsingham, which I had presented in another video that you may have already seen, and Choral Preludes by Johann Sebastian Bach, the third ballad of Chopin, and we end with two pieces by Franz Liszt, which in a sense show the ultimate realization of music as poetry. Liszt applied many of the elements and aesthetic principles that he had developed in his symphonic poems to his other narrative works, especially to those for orchestra. It is often overlooked that Liszt was a great master of orchestration. It is indeed to him that we owe the idea of the modern orchestra, the way that instruments have been able to be called upon to show their entire range of expressivity and not to be confined to any kind of traditional orchestral role. Many of these works where Liszt showed his genius for telling a story through an orchestra, he also transcribed for piano. Mm -hmm. 